I've tested out a lot of platforms for selling digital products and the one that I always recommend for beginners is Payhip. It's free to use, it has a simple setup, and it has everything you need all in one place, making it super easy to get started. Hey friends, it's Tisha. Welcome back to another video where I give you the tools that you need to help you create and sell digital products so you can start creating life on your terms. Payhip is my go-to platform. I use Payhip for all of my online businesses and I always recommend it for beginners. Payhip does offer three different plans that you can choose from. With their free plan, you still get access to all of their features and you don't have to upgrade or pay more to get access to those features. They do have a 5% transaction fee, which I believe is the lowest transaction fee that I've seen amongst other platforms. So this allows you as a beginner to get started without having to pay any upfront fees uh, out of pocket money okay now as your business grows you can choose to upgrade to one of the paid plans so you have a flat rate instead of that transaction fee now with payhip you can sell more than just digital products you can create additional streams of income by also selling physical products courses and memberships or your coaching services and you can do that all from the payhip platform Payhip also offers a marketplace where you can list your products, giving you that extra bit of visibility. This is great if you are a beginner, and especially if you have not had that built-in audience, you can list your products on the marketplace and there's no additional listing fee or additional transaction fee to get your products listed on their marketplace. Payhip gives you the ability to also brand and customize your online store. You can connect your own domain, give you that personalized branded link. You can also customize your store to fit your style and brand. You don't have to have the same cookie cutter look as everybody else and you can stand out amongst your competitors. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer screen so I can show you how you can get started with Payhip. To get started with Payhip, you can create your free account using my link in the description box and then click on get started for free and you just enter in your name and a valid email address to create your account with Payhip. And once you enter in your information, it's going to take you through some steps to get your store set up. So starting with your store name, you just want to enter that information and hit continue. Okay, and it's going to show you what your Payhip store name will be. Click get started selling and it's going to take you to your dashboard. So first, let's go ahead and add our digital product. So let's click on add your first product, okay? And then click on add product. Here are the different product types, digital product, courses, membership, physical products, coaching services. You can also bundle if you have multiple types of products. If you guys wanna see how you can sell courses with Payhip, let me know down in the comments by just dropping the word course. So let's go ahead and select digital product. Okay, so here's where you're going to add your digital product details and upload your digital product. So starting with your product file, you want to just hit upload and you can upload your file, you'll see it here. Then you can enter in your title, your price, and you can add images. You can add up to nine items, including audio and video files. You just need to paste the link in order to embed that along with your images. When you add your images, if you want to rearrange your order, you can just simply just drag them into the order that you want. And you scroll down, here's where you're gonna add your product description. You're gonna add that here. Okay, the next section is asking your visibility. You can choose how your product is seen on your website. Of course, we wanna keep it as visible so everybody sees it. If you want to not show it yet, then you can select invisible, and then you can have it unlisted where it's on your website, but only the people who you share the link with will be able to see your product. Next is some advanced options. We want to click this little gear here. And this is where you can actually add your SEO settings. And this is helpful to help your product and your website get found within Google search or other search engines. You can include an SEO description. You can add that here. And for each image that you add, you can also add your alt text, which also helps with SEO search. If you don't see these options, just click advanced options and it's going to drop down the different options available to you. You can automatically add your customers to your mailing list. Um, however, in order to do that, you will need to link your mailing platform with 
pay hip and you just simply click on their marketing page and it's going to give you instructions on how you can do that and so once you're ready you just go ahead and click add product and this is your product link and you can click on show me my product page so you can see what it looks like you have your images here you have your product title your price right now it's not showing the purchase button because i have not set up the paypal or stripe account so you want to make sure that you do that in addition to paypal and stripe payhip offers payment integrations with square molly mercado and paystack so you can sell digital products from no matter where you are now let's go back to our dashboard okay and you'll see that you added your first product if you wanted to add your product to the payhip marketplace from your dashboard under the products menu this is where you will see all of your products that you add to your pay hip store you just simply click on edit click on category and tags and you will select the category that best fits your product and then you will also add those tags the only thing that you need to do to be eligible for the marketplace is make a minimum of ten dollars and then you should be eligible to list your products on the pay hip marketplace so now let's go ahead and start customizing our online store so you want to go to the top menu and click on store another great thing with pay hip is that you can add blog posts this could be an option for you if you are someone who loves to write and don't want to create video content for your digital product business you can have a blog included in your pay hip store you can also add custom domain so if you want to have your brand name for your website name instead of the pay hip link that is provided for you, you can connect your domain with pay hip. So if we go back here to the store tab, I want to show you the theme pages because PayHip also offers you a couple of theme pages that you can choose from if that is something that you're looking to do. But I'm going to show you how you can just do a simple single page website from scratch so let's go ahead and click on launch store builder and i'm going to show you how easy this is okay so here we are inside of our store builder we are currently on the collection page we'll just see our digital product and the little about me section i want you to go to the top click on add custom page and we're going to just type in home page and we're going to completely create a single page web site from scratch so you click add and you have a completely blank page let's add our sections each block of your website is going to be considered a section so you simply click on add section from the left hand menu we're going to start with a header image so let's go ahead and use this one this is going to be like our hero section from here you can add a heading you can add some text you can change your call to action button what i want to do is change this image background so let's go to background select replace upload your image you can click this section here i'm going to use the image i've already used or upload it select choose this image and now my image is there. If you wanna change the size of your hero image, you wanna go back to format tab and select the drop down under the section height. And you can change it from small, medium, large. It is up to you how you want that to view on your website. And you can have the text centered or left. It's Again, this is your site. You can choose how you want this to be. And once you're done, you just wanna to go to the top and select save changes, and then click the back arrow to get back to our menu. Let's add our next section, which is going to be our product section. So let's go and find feature product, select that block. First, you wanna choose your product. So this is why it's important to add your digital product first. Once you make that selection, you go down to the bottom and select choose this product. Okay, and you have some additional settings here that you can go and play around with. You can change your thumbnail layout. So it depends on how you want it to view on your website. Okay, and once you're done, the same thing, scroll to the top, select save changes, select the back button to get to our menu, Cut, select add section. We're going to add an about me section. Click that block. Here's where you to change it to your own profile picture. You just click replace and then you want to upload your profile image. Scroll down and select choose this image. You enter in your name here. 
okay and you just add a little bit about yourself here if you don't want to show this follow button you can turn that off by selecting no you can show your social media icons you have to add your social media links under your advanced settings and then once you're done you go to the top and hit save changes select back the next section I want to show you that you can add is your newsletter section. This is helpful with building your email list. So we can scroll down to newsletter. You have two options. You can have an image background or a solid background. So let's choose the first one. You can change your heading and your text here. You can also change your call to action text. Let's change our background to a color. And we can, we can leave it like that for right now. I just wanted to give a breakup. So now we have the basic settings of a one page website. Don't forget to save changes. So let's go back. Okay. And if we wanted to rearrange any of these blocks, you can simply do that as well by just clicking on that block and then just dragging it in the order that you want to see it on your site. Now to change your color schemes, I feel like it's easier once you have everything laid out. You can do it all at the same time by going down to the bottom here and clicking on change store style and then selecting colors pay help makes it super easy they do have a full tutorial to help you figure out how you can change your color on your website i recommend watching that video you can click on start editing your colors so once you click on the section that color menu will pop up over here and you simply just click on the button that you want to change if you have your own brand colors already set, you can just add your hex code here and it's going to change it to that color. Once you start adding your colors to PayHip, it's going to automatically keep it here so you don't always have to keep pasting in your hex code, making designing your website super easy. Anything else that you want to change the color for, you simply just click on that and you can change that color. Okay, once you've gone through and change your colors you want to make sure that you click on save changes then just go to the back button because keep hitting back until we get back to our side menu here okay and the last thing that you want to if you do want to edit it would be your footer you can add navigation links you can change the size you can also add your social media icons in order to do that you will need to visit your settings page and add your social links and then they will appear in your footer whatever you do make sure you always hit save changes and i just realized we didn't talk about the header with the header section you can add a logo if that's something that you want to add or you can just simply leave your store name here at the top you can do that you can change and add your navigation links at the top as well right now it's going to have show your shop and contact if you don't want to show any of these, you can delete them. Or if you do want to add an additional link where it links to an external page, you can do that here as well. And if you click on header settings, you can also change your header layout. So if you want, you, you can just simply play around with the different styles of your header. Okay. And of course, anything that you do, always hit save. Once you have designed your blocks, one thing that I like to do that helps me save time when I'm designing my sites on PayHip is to click on these three dots and click add to library and it's going to add it to your library of blocks. So you basically can create your own block library. And this makes it super simple and easy when you are designing or redesigning your website. If you wanted to, you can duplicate a section and also delete a section if you no longer want that section on your website. So you can go to the top right here, you can click on the different views. So you can do mobile view and you can see how it looks on a mobile phone because 80% of people, they are using their phones to shop online. So it is great that you don't have to do any additional editing to make your website mobile friendly okay now before we hit publish i want you to go back over to the left click this little gear icon and you want to set this as your home page and it says are you sure you say yes so whenever someone goes to your website this is the page that they are going to see okay and if you want to do a full preview you can click on the preview button and it'll show you what your website would look like and once you're ready, the only thing you need to do is click publish 
and you are done you can click on visit your store and it's going to just give you that preview again and if you want to continue editing you can do that as well and to get back to your dashboard you want to select this menu here and then select exit store builder and it's going to take you back to your dashboard okay so you, i just show you how easy it is to set up your online store with payhip so now i need you to go and start your own store with payhip don't forget to use the link down below in the description box. Let me know what you think about PayHip down below in the comments. And if you want to learn how you can protect your digital products, check out the video that's on your screen. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.